studying fungi and the fungi that live in our gut in particular is very important because up until now we knew very little about them we knew they were there um, but we had very little information as to what they were doing there and if they were important to aspects of our health We now understand that fungi are part of this really important mix of microbes that live in our gut. We call it the gut microbiome. And the gut microbiome is critical for teaching how the immune system of a child develops. We understand now with this research that if fungi are there, this, this immune system is going to get different signals and it's going to develop differently. We also found out that the immune system is going to function differently as well. For example, we found out that the way the body reacts to inflammation in the colon or in the lung is different depending on whether fungi are there or not. So studying this, this type and this mixture of microbial signals coming from the gut early on in life is going to be very important not only to understand the type of diseases that can occur in the colon like colitis or the lung like, like asthma but it would also give us clues as to how to prevent these diseases or how to treat them they interact in different ways um, they are part of an ecosystem and in an ecosystem they can be beneficial interaction, they can be antagonistic or opposite interactions when one microbe can, can actually make it harder for another microbe to grow. What we found out is that there's really a zoo in there of interactions um, where different bacteria is going to react differently to different fungi. So this research was only possible because of the presence of a wonderful laboratory facility at the University of Calgary, known as the, the International Microbiome Center Germ-Free Facility. This is really one of a kind. There are other germ-free facilities out there, although they're rare, but there's very, very few like this. And, and it really allowed us to create these artificial scenarios um, to really test the contribution of fungi and only fungi in, in, in mice. So it's a, it's a very special place and a very unique place to do microbiome science. We really want to understand the mechanisms. What are the signals coming out of fungi? And what are the immune mechanisms, the molecules in the immune system that can listen to these fungal signals and react one way or on a, on a different way? We're actually really interesting too to understand how this may change the way a child or an adult reacts to respiratory viral diseases, which of course are really important now. And one of the ones that we want to study, besides the one that, that causes the, the ones that cause um, the common cold is of course COVID-19.